Hi guys and welcome to Radwolf and Bushcraft. Thanks for tuning in. This video is the first video of a mini-series on affordable yet awesome bushcraft knives. And you might ask yourself, why another video on a topic that has been discussed a thousand times? Well, I just want to simplify things, both for the beginners out there as well as for the advanced bushcrafters. And let me explain to you why. Well, beginners always have a hard time making a decision when it comes to buying their first bushcraft knife. So I want to give you practical advice so you don't have to spend a lot of money and you get a quality product at a low price. And if I'm talking to advanced bushcrafters, I would like to discuss an idea with you, the idea of simplifying things and getting back to the basics. And the reason is simple. Um, knives are just tools and nothing else, right? So if we get to this point in time that we are starting to collect handcrafted knives for example and we get our custom made um, special geometry special steel type of knife with engravings that are customized for our needs um, we're kind of like leaving this area of knives as tools and get more into a kind of like collector's habit i hope you're with me here and um, the what i see happen all the time is that people have a lot of expensive knives but they never put them to use not to speak about abuse and that's what a knife needs to be able to handle it needs to be used all the time and sometimes you will just need to abuse your knife that's just a fact so I just want to look at a couple of core points here which are knives need to get their job done right they need to be comfortable enough so you can work with them for a longer period of time without getting blisters or any kind of pressure points in your hand. And they need to be affordable so that in case of any type of damage, you can easily replace them without a lot of pain in your wallet and a lot of pain in your heart, if that makes sense. So without any further ado, I would say we just have a look at the first knife. If you want to see something about the other knives, I would urge you to just go down to the subscription button click that click the notification button so you stay up to date about the next episodes and for now I'm just going to start off with my very first knife that I ever owned so this is the first knife we will look at and now you might ask yourself okay is this guy for real does he really try to sell us a pocket knife as a proper bushcraft knife Where's the Crocodile Dundee Mega Blade, that kind of Bowie knife that survivalists need, you know? <laughs> and I just find that funny because let me tell you something. This knife has been in use for more than 20 years and there's a story to it and it has proven itself as a worthy companion throughout the course of time. And I got this knife as a present from my dad when I turned eight. And it was the first knife I ever owned myself and I took it out into the woods and I just started building very spartanic tipi huts and building my first fishing rod and all these kind of things. So basically this knife was the first step on my ladder towards becoming a bushcrafter if that makes sense. And I can only say that this knife is a perfect tip for beginners and you should really get one. Um, the model used to be called the officer's knife, the officier's messer of Victorinox, but now they have more fancy names. So this one would be the model ranger. There's also a model called camper. I will put links in the description below. You can just have a look at the specifications there. And um, yeah, what's to say about these knives? Well, first and foremost, that knife actually is two knives because you get a long blade and a short little blade 
which is great because you already got a replacement blade if something happens to one of the two. So you get two knives for the price of one. It's also nice that you can basically use the longer blade for the more heavy duty type of work, whereas the small one is just great for whittling and for the minor tasks that you need to do. Uh, I want to say something about the steel. These knives basically hit a hardness of 56 on the Rockwell scale, so they're pretty durable. What's also really great about them is this device right here. It's just a tiny saw and if you ever used that yourself, you know that they are really amazing. You can process firewood, you can build simple structures with these, you can build pot hangers, you can build a fishing rod. Everything's possible with this. So basically you already got three tools in one. And then you got all the other kind of standard accessories like a can opener, a bottle opener, a wire stripper, two screwdrivers basically. This particular model also comes with a pair of scissors, which is handy for first aid type of tasks. Then we also do have an awl, or a reamer as it's called. So you can basically use this for making holes in leather for example, or if you want to harvest birch sap, you can drill a hole into a tree. Same accounts for the corkscrew. You will probably won't drink a lot of wine out in the woods, but nevertheless, that tool comes in rather handy. And of course, you do have a pair of tweezers in there, which are just handy for splinters, for ticks, and all the other kind of things you might need to remove once in a while. And you get a toothpick for some basic dental hygiene. And yeah, I would just say, get yourself one of these, because for a price of 20 to 30 euros, you just get an entire toolbox. And believe me, you can use this for years and years and years, just like I did throughout the last 20 years. And I'm still carrying this. It's a perfect EDC knife. It also gets the, most of the jobs done. It's not strong enough to batten, of course, but if we just leave that aside, you basically set up to do anything with that tiny little feller. And there's even something more. Just look at the color. If I would drop this somewhere in the mosses or maybe somewhere in a landscape with a lot of grass, you could easily find that back because you don't have the, a camo pattern or whatever kind of um, yeah, camouflaging color on your knife, but you kind of like got a signal color in a sense. So that's also a bonus if you're starting out out there and you're still learning how to work with your equipment. Perfect thing to do, to buy that. Nevertheless, let's just have a look at practical demonstrations, right? So let's have a look at the saw first, right? We got rather wet wood right here, but it nevertheless performs well. And as you can see, the cuts themselves are rather straight and give that smooth edge. Of course, now that everything's soaking wet due to the rain, it's a little harder, but it can get the job done, as you can see. Let's try again. See? It bites nicely into the wood. And here we have a dead Douglas fir. With a little luck we might even find some fat wood right here. <laughs> Unfortunately not. But as you can see, if you would put in the time and the effort, you would get really clean cuts just with that tiny saw. Amazing, huh? Let's assume we want to harvest some birch sap that we can use the awl. Just get in here, start turning, and basically punch in a hole 
and then put a container underneath and get the sap out of the tree. Pretty handy, huh? So if you want to harvest a bit of bark to build a container, for example, you could also use this, but be really careful, see? Because the knife could fold just like this. So first get it right into the bark and then just start pulling, see? And you're getting a nice and clean cut. Also, if you go underneath, just make sure you don't fold the knife. But as you can see, it could easily get the job done. So if you're planning on building a pot hanger or anything else that involves notches, then you can also rely on this knife. Just look how well it bites into the wood. One cut only. Not particularly beautiful, but it can get the job done as you can see. Here's another example. Works just perfectly fine, right? Then also if we take other carving into consideration, just look how well the material is subtracted. You can build a lot of things with a tiny blade like that. And just to show you what you could make just with a simple knife like this, I carved this fork from beech wood and I just used the small blade, the big blade and the saw to get in these spacings right here. That's it. And you can already start making your own gear. And here we got some resin. We could also harvest this with one of our blades and still keep the other one as a spare one in case the other one gets all too sticky, see? What you could also do instead is using the bottle opener. All right, guys, that's it. Pretty awesome tool, right? So if you're a beginner, I strongly recommend getting one of these. I'm going to drop you a link in the description below. This is an affiliate link, so if you order via this link, part of your payment will get right back to my channel so I can invest this in further filming and also in other equipment and just generate more content for you. If you like this video, please make sure you're going to subscribe. Please also make sure you hit the notification button for the upcoming episodes. And if you want to add something to the video or if you have a question or some kind of remark, just drop a comment below. So, I will wrap it up from here. As you can see, it's getting dark. Rain's about to hit me, so I have to get going. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Have a great time. Enjoy the outdoors and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Ciao.